So now I have my image rasterized. I'm going to add a vector mask. And to make it look like she's really on that leaf, I'm going to zoom in to her feet. And I'm going to cover all this area where this leaf juts up a little bit. And actually, I'm going to move her down even more. So I'm going to grab my Move tool and move her down a little bit more right there. OK. So now I'm going to take my brush tool and I am on my mask. The mask is white right now. So if I were to paint with black, then it will show through that image. Make my brush a little bit bigger. And it is covering that foot. Now. The problem we have is that I can't see what it is that I'm doing. I know that I'm covering this foot, obviously, but I don't know how much of that foot to cover. And there you have, I've gone too far. So we're going to use the same technique we used in the other image and turn the opacity down. Only this time, we're going to turn the opacity down on the subject. This will allow me to see the background image and know how far I need to be erasing or masking. Now I think I might be pretty well finished. Let's take a look, turn my opacity back up, and I think it looks pretty good. I have a couple areas that I didn't quite cover. And that looks a little odd. We'll smooth that out a little bit. Here we go. And let's take a look. A little bit too far over here. So I'm going to come back with my white. Because if I'm using black to cover, then white will add to the image. And I'm just going to smooth out that line right there. And right there. OK, now let's take a look. And that looks pretty good. It really looks like she is actually on that leaf.